Okay, so guys, you're most welcome to this new video tutorial with the OSP Pro. In this video today, I'm going to be walking you guys, showing you uh, how to solve the problem concerning Postman errors. Initially, my Postman was not working. I'm using Windows 8 uh, Pro. Let me just show the version here called um, DXDAG. DXDAG. I will check and look onto the version of Windows I'm using. You will discover I'm using Windows 8 Pro. And I was getting a challenge on my Postman. This is the version of Windows I'm using. So if you're using Windows 8 Pro or using Windows 8, uh, uh, as long as you're using Windows 8 and Pro, you'll get some challenge on your Postman, but especially Windows 8 Pro or Alternative and the rest. The big challenge we have in there, you can only solve it. Uh, by doing the following now underneath there on your window 8 to solve that kind of challenges you need to make sure you download the low version of postman i went further and i download different versions of postman i think you can check here i have all of this are postman i think you can see i download different versions of postman but all couldn't work it was until i happened to land on this version called uh, this one here uh, version 6.4.2 that's the version you guys need to make sure you have on your PC if you are to use Postman definitely if you have that kind of version and if you try to test something in your PC or your uh, API it should work so I think you can see it's working because I happen to do that now let me show you this still after downloading that thing I my PC used to give me a lot of stuff for instance uh, I get uh, things like a uh, black screen on my PC, especially when you just launch Postman. You get a black screen, I'm loading up, you get. So this is it. So if you could click there on loading here, I get a black screen, you get. So to sort that out, this is what you have to do. Just need to make sure you know where your Postman is being load, uh, installed. You could get a black screen here initially. So to do that, just come in your PC, go here, uh, right click. So you need to know where your postman is being installed. Go to your sieve, go to users if that's what you have. Inside your name of the PC, inside your app dot app 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 data. I know most of you guys will fail to get know where app data is, but you go to view, and then you say uh, hidden items. I want to view all hidden items. This will give you chance for this. Go to local, and then you go to you will see postman around here. Double click there. Just select the version. The version I'm using is uh, you can use any of this because this version is all good. Either use 6.7 or 6.4, they're all good. So if you double click there, it should give you the postman you want to use. Like for instance, if I check here, right click, I go to properties and I go to uh, general. I think where is that details? Yeah, I'm missing that at the moment. But still okay. I'm not going to get this it. So I'll say just just make sure you go to your PC. I go to right click. I mean go here. Go to users. Go to OSP whatever yours there in your PC local host. Just go to Postman. Postman is here. Pick the version. So I have two versions of Postman installed. Version six point seven point four. So I just go to click there. Then just come in here. Copy this path. Get. Okay? After you copying this path, go back to your PC, right click if possible, and then you paste it underneath the advanced variables. Just click here, here, right, uh, go to edit, and just end with the same colon, and then paste your code there. You get? Now, another thing that you need to take care of is postman. So, this is it. Enabling a postman. You get? So this is it, Postman disable a GPU. So GPU matters most whenever you're using Postman. So that's just what I had to do on my PC, and then I set the variable to be true. And after doing that, my Postman began working. So you guys need to make sure, if you're using version Windows 8, point, uh, Windows 8, please make sure you do that, and then you should be yourself ready to build an API. So guys, thanks for watching this short video. Thank you.